The information age has seen an unprecedented level of information sharing, as people became able to access whatever they want, wherever they want, and whenever they want. This incredible level of interconnectivity does, however, have a terrible dark side. Whilst trivial things like hacking, online bullying, and child pornography occupy the attention of law enforcement and the mainstream media, these insignificant infringements only serve to distract the public from the real, truly vile crime of online piracy. I spoke to a tragic, vulnerable victim of this horrific act. I mean, we spend tens of millions of dollars getting these overpaid actors and filling up their trailers of bloody gluten-free tofu hamburgers, whatever the fuck it is they want to eat. And then after that, we have to find a town that's willing to let us blow up their hospital. Do you have any idea how hard that is? Too hard. So we have to build it ourselves. Do you know how much money it costs to build a hospital and then blow it up? No, of course you don't. You're not even a real filmmaker. Look at your shitty little camera. And then after that, some bastard decides he doesn't want to pay $12 to go see Batman like everyone else does, so I just download it for free. If you're watching, you little shit, I hope that some fucking audio is in Korean and some bastard walks in front of the camera every 30 seconds to take a piss. Strong words from a tragic victim. But whilst online piracy has traditionally preyed on vulnerable film studio executives such as this, several entrepreneurial pirates have taken to previously uncharted waters and begun branching out into new areas of pirate recordings. We had the opportunity to have an exclusive interview with one such digital pirate. Here's what he had to say. Captain Anonymous, I suppose my first question to you is, why exactly are you dressed like that? Because I'm a pirate. Well, yes, but you're not an actual pirate as sailing the high seas, searching for buried treasure kind of pirate, are you? You're an online pirate. You just illegally film and upload copyrighted content? Yar. I'd be a pirate. I see. So, tell us about that video camera there. Arr, I'd be borrowing this from me Macy Captain Therosaur from the Wiggles, you see. You don't be needing it with his dancing and singing and whatnot. Right, so what forms of content have you traditionally uploaded to the internet? Yar, I'd be uploading everything. Movies. The power of the dark side. Only one never told you. He told me enough. He told me you killed me. No. I am your father. No. No. That's not true. That's impossible. Such a thing you know it to be true. No! Yar. Music? It's not unusual to be loved by anyone. It's not unusual. Even conversations between girls. There'd be a huge market for it in Japan. forms of piracy and into a new territory? Tell us about that. Yar. Well as the internet winds be getting faster and more land loving bill drafts be getting into the fray, there be too many mateys and not enough booty. Got little hearties to feed you see, and they be sick of drinking seawater and eating parrot for dinner. Parrot again. It must have been hard. Aye. So I sit beside foreign charter territory. Had to be finding a new market. And be finding a new market he was at Griffith University. A place where many land love and law students were frustrated by the many broken promises of successive girls presidents to introduce mandatory lecture capture for all courses. Yar. Am me worried about being discovered? Nar. I be being very inconspicuous. Uh, can I help you there? Pirate in the front row. Hey, Yar, don't, don't be minding me. All it's right. like I'm not even here. <laughs> Alright, so we were talking about the distinction between an invitation to treat and an offer in the context of advertisements. 
So um, that brings us on to the principal case, the leading case from the 19th century, the 19th, the 18th, the 20th, I remember. Anyway, uh, the one century certainly, Carla Lake Carbolic Smokeball. So anybody, could you give me the facts of Carla Lake Carbolic Smokeball? You really can't? Come on now. You, sir. Yeah, the crew's will be being as enough can be made to the entire world. I don't know what Carla will be talking about, but Carbolic Smokeball will probably be curing me of the scurvy. Very good. Frankly, it's ridiculous. Like, what do they actually expect us to turn on to every single class, every single week? I mean, hello, I've got shit to do. And it's not like not having lecture capture actually expects students to turn up. I watched this one lecture and only six people.